Hello and welcome to this very quick video about how I've installed a Matek F405 WMN into my Dolphin. Now the Atomasi Dolphin is one of my favourite wings bar none at the moment and it's been flying with analog setup for FPV since I built it. And because it's such a great machine and because I'm a big fan of the Walksnail system I've decided to convert it to Walksnail. However Walksnail needs a full speed UART and that means that unfortunately the old F411 WSE flight controller that was in there just couldn't hack it. So I've been forced to pull that out and upgrade it with something that's far newer. Now I'm making this video because more for myself than anything else I think. In the future when I'm using this board, this is one of my new favourites as you've probably already seen. Um, it's a quick aid memoir to how I set up everything up and how all the ports are used because it's not quite as easy as it used to be. The Maytech guys have changed the way that they explain stuff on the website. It's not quite as simple. So let me show you how I've set it up here in the Saturn RC Dolphin with walk snail, but it means that it also work with HD0 and the DJI system, including the DJI WTFOS hack as well on a full UART. So here is my Atom RC Dolphin and inside is the Maytech F405 WMN of, and a fraction of the size of the RX8R receiver that I'm actually using in here. Now, if we jump on the computer and have a look at the websites, the way that Maytech explain how to set these kind of things up, unfortunately, isn't quite as good as it used to be. It does, however, give us things like the INAV and Ardu Pilot targets, which is great. We know it's supported by both, which is fantastic. And I love this one, as you've probably already seen, because it has five UARTs. That's brilliant for all the things that you need for things like running the HD0 or a walk style OSD, or maybe having lots of other things like airspeed sensors and stuff as well. But if we scroll down here and we have a look at the wiring, although it's actually showing how to put the wiring together, and specifically where we plug in things like the GPS. So it's gonna go into TX4 and RX4, which probably means it's UART4 we need to configure. Historically down here, it used to have the snapshot of the iNav ports, and that was missing. So let me just show you very quickly how I have wired this up. So let me just close this and let's connect it to iNav. So let's jump onto the desk. The other thing I quite like about this is that it has this separate little board here with a buzzer on, so you can put this out of the way. So we'll power it up on the computer. We'll click connect and let me just jump into the ports. This is how I've got it set up working here. USB VCP is set to MSP. <laughs> lots and lots of letters there. multi stereo protocol. That's the stuff that we're talking over the cable to the computer with, so we need that. I've got UART1 set for MSP. UART2 is set for the serial receiver, and that is where the receiver is plugged in here. Um, so that's set up for SBUS at the moment. Good old basic SBUS. Although we could set up UART2 to be other things as well. And then we have UART4 is set for my GPS. So the GPS is actually plugging in here on the flight controller. And then we also have UART5, which is set for the HD0 VTX. And UART5 is over here. This is the cable, uh, two of which is the receive and transmit pins that goes forward into the front and connects into my walk snail on screen display. The only other thing in here is that I've got soft serial one configured for smart port and that is connected on to the receiver. So let me just show you this very, very quick diagram here that kind of explains how this works. So this is how I've got everything plugged in that seems to be working really well. GPS is plugged into UART4, the serial receiver is plugged into UART2, and because Soft Serial 1 is also enabled and set to smart port, that's also being used there for that pin for the smart port pieces too. That leaves UART5 free for the HD0 VTX. Now, the only other thing I'll mention here is that to get your soft serial one to appear on here, it doesn't by default for the latest INAV targets. What you need to go is into configuration and then scroll all the way down in here 
and you need to enable CPU based serial port, which is this one here. Once you enable that and reboot it, this will then appear, soft serial one will appear. And if you set it for smart port, then you get all your telemetry. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that are wondering how to set this up. That's how I've wired it. And this is how I have all the ports set up and it works really well. I did have a little bit of a challenge with some of the port settings and moving things around because if you're ever in here and you set the ports up in a way that isn't supported by the flight controller, that when you click save and reboot, it'll kind of set it back to defaults. But this is the way that I've got it all working here with my walk snail or HD zero style on-screen display. So that would also work with things like the WTOF stuff for the DJI system. And this is why I love this little board because of the huge number of UARTs on it. So again, hopefully that helps. This is how I've set it up and this is how it's working here. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.